Hi, Tina. Let's take a look at this essay you have written about business hours. Here we go. Experts throughout both the developed and developing world have been debating whether businesses should be allowed to open. Well, it's not just on the weekends. It's just as extended hours, which could mean many things, okay? So not just weekends. Be careful with that because you're really limiting the scope of this essay when you, when you say that. Okay, so uh, whether and you have to change something else here too, not should be allowed. Let's fix it again, okay? One more time. Experts throughout both the developed and developing world have been debating whether uh, businesses uh, being allowed to open extended hours is a positive or negative development. Personally, I strongly feel that it is more of a backward movement. This essay will discuss both views using examples from the UK's Business Operation and Development Department studies in Southampton City to demonstrate points and prove arguments. Okay, so far so good. On the one hand, there is ample evidence that shops extended hours, working hours, may benefit the local community. This is due to the fact that this phenomenon would create an enormous number of job opportunities in the region as more staff would be required for the added opening hours. For example, recent studies from the UK's Business Operation Development Department show that more than 1,200 vacant positions have been created in Southampton City with just only 30% of their local businesses extending to a full week opening schedule. Therefore, it is possible to say beyond doubt that, uh, you know what, you keep writing shops with an apostrophe, but we don't usually give, um, we don't usually make inanimate objects have possession. So um, I didn't correct it before, but at this point I do feel like you need to be aware of this grammatical rule, uh, this grammar rule rather. So uh, let's change it. Um, therefore it is possible to state beyond doubt that extra, uh, that extra opening hours, you don't even have to say shops, just extra opening hours are beneficial for the local employment situation. All right, and then that's fine. On the other hand, although the extra hours help generate more jobs, they could be a sign of financial inefficiency. The central reason behind this is twofold. Firstly, there are costs for every additional opening hour. In other words, businesses do not only have to pay extra for operation staff such as cashiers, janitors, and even shop managers. Managers, carefully, you wrote mangers. Uh, but there are also higher utility bills as they would surely consume more electricity. In the same no, it's the aforementioned, that's the word, there's one word for that, aforementioned study. It is revealed that Southampton shops face an average of 20% increase in operating costs as they open in, on additional Saturdays and Sundays. Secondly, if people are able to manage their shopping within uh, the w shop weekday schedule or the weekday schedule, you don't need shop at all here. Why should businesses such as supermarkets and electronic stores open for more days? Um... All right, could you say something else about that? Maybe add some support there? Furthermore, consistent with this line of thinking, consumers do not have to squeeze their physical shop visits in their busy weekly agenda and still have the products shipped to their doors during their office hours thanks to the online shopping platforms such as Amazon Fresh and Uber Deliveries. Thus, it is conclusively clear that weekend opening hours, again, remember, we're not talking exclusively about weekend, we're talking about extended hours in general that extended opening hours may not be essential, especially in today's world of digital business disruptions. I don't know about this disruptions. Is that really what you mean here? Doesn't seem like the appropriate word choice. From the arguments and sa examples, not samples, from the arguments and examples given, I firmly believe that weekend opening hours, um, no, that extended opening hours uh, is an unfavorable shift of business practices in the near future with more innovations that could change consumers traditional behaviors, it is expected to see weekends given back to uh, their uh, weekends, given back to their original expectation as a time to relax and reunion with the family. All right, that's nice. Um, so yeah, there were some really, it was a good essay overall. I liked it, but there are some things that you do need to correct and um, revise, okay, uh, once this video correction is done. But on the whole, you did a nice job of it. It was definitely extended. It was supported. So that was all um, done well. All right, let's move on to your restaurant letter here. Dear sir, madam, I'm writing to complain. Carefully, you want the word here without the T. You wrote the noun, but we really need the verb here. So I'm writing to complain about my bad experience at your restaurant last night. 
Bad is a word that I typically don't like to see in IELTS essays. There's a handful of them that I always advise students against using good, bad, nice, big, small. Um, they're words that are so elementary and they don't really tell us much. So it's definitely a better idea to, um, to try to show some of your, um, some of your language ability. And this is a, a good way to do it. So, uh, I'm running to complain about my, uh, horrific experience. I'm running to complain about my terrible experience, my awful experience. Um, the disappointing experience, so all these words would be a better choice than bad. I went for um, a dinner with my friend yesterday and we ordered pumpkin seed and blueberry sauce falafels. We believed that the dish was a vegan dish as it was indicated on the menu without the cell. Not only that, we double checked with your waiter, Ms. Laura, to ensure that it did not contain any meat. However, we found a piece of meat inside one of the falafels. We immediately told Ms. Laura, but we were only told to try another one and kept that aside. Careful with your grammar. You, we already know when this happened. It happened yesterday. And so the only real appropriate tense here is past simple. So all of this with the present perfect is inaccurate. Okay, uh, this caused my friend to be very upset as she has been very strict on her diet as a vegan. I therefore suggest that I be given, without the will, a full refund for a dinner as well as an official apology from your restaurant. I hope this issue will be handled very seriously as one's special diet should be respected and strictly followed, especially when your restaurant has been advertised tailoring to. That's a little strange. Um, uh, should be respected and strictly followed, especially when uh, your uh, restaurant has been ad advertised as tailoring to such. I think that's what you mean. I'm looking forward to your response. Yours faithfully, Tina Vu. All right, that's not bad. Okay, fine. So you've certainly covered all of the aspects that you need to in the bullets. So that was well done. The grammar uh, had some little things. But, uh, it was a, it was the tenses primarily in this in. The, this paragraph and, and the second paragraph, uh, those were the issues, but the rest of it was fine. I liked some of the vocabulary, some of it. Um, elsewhere, let's see. Um, elsewhere, it was just, it was fine, okay? But um, a good job overall, all right? Go ahead and correct these, return them back to us corrected. Uh, let's see another set of essays from you, okay? Great, Tina, good luck, and I'll be waiting to see what you write next. <laughs>